Okay, you're back. We uh, just had a really good lunch and uh, talking with the owner there. And uh, that was really interesting about all the things coming up here. And, uh, well, Arduino, uh, what do you think about the place now? A long ride, but was it worth it? It was more than worth it. And we really enjoyed it, especially the lunch. <laughs> but we had a great interview with Santiago Rodriguez. And now we are here in Bahia Las Aguilas, and you are watching by our camera how peaceful is the sea right now, and how lovely it is everything here in a really sunny day. Hey, Johnny? Oh, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. This is my second time here in, um, in that restaurant here in Bahia de Las Aguilas. And uh, the last time we were here, it was crazy. It was a long weekend, and this time it was more relaxed, a lot quieter. Probably pretty much to the fact that uh, it's off season but they those guys are still busy we saw some buses coming in you know mr rodriguez told us that all his tents is uh, are full for this weekend the boats were still going out on the cave tours and now we're making our way back uh, we're gonna find a place to stay tonight uh, don't know where but we'll find something <laughs> and now we're uh, gonna be coming up to this big old kind of deserted boat uh it's I'd been, run aground years it's ago. run aground so we're gonna probably take some snaps of this and we're just taking a, a ride a slow ride along the uh, the coastline here it's absolutely gorgeous i love this water why don't you I, guys talk a little bit about uh what's going on about uh oh sure with uh you know the, the happenings around here of Absolutely. Um, from uh, our conversation, we uh, sat down and had our meeting in Spanish with Santiago. Uh, he was a little shy, but he was telling us a lot of good things. Uh, there is an airport here now. Uh, it is, for the moment, private. And they are getting people coming in from Punta Cana and Santiago. Is that right, I believe, uh, El Dueño? Yes, he yeah. said he has a lot of people now, especially Pakish Tour. Mm -hmm. They are coming from Punta Cana. Santo Domingo, Santiago, and uh, I mean Santiago, the second capital of the country because Santiago is the name of the owner too. Yeah. And he said really soon, in about six or eight months, there is going to be another project already built over here, which is going to be managed by him. And he was talking to us too about the new airport is going to be done over here. I mean, it's going to be made. Yeah, that's right. And uh, he was t saying to us, you know, some of the planes are coming in with like 50, 60 people. And, um, you know, the, 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 the big hotel bigwigs, you know, they're having their uh, back and forth sit downs with the current president, Danilo, about getting approval to turn that into an international airport, make it bigger. If you've uh, noticed from around here in our filming, there's a lot of wide open land here. So it's pretty easy to put an airport in here. Uh, also, from what Santiago was telling us, um, he gets international people coming here from France, Japan, the US. It's a wide range of people. Um, there's a lot of big things going on. He said they're planning a, I believe, a 1500 room hotel. I think that's what he was saying. But I can see, Johnny, something like yeah. that, yeah? And he was talking about the population of here, around here. It's only 30,000 people, and how safety it is, is he said, it's only 1% of criminal things, if it is that they happen. Exactly. But 1%, you know, is very, very low any part of the world. And it's number six, the province in the country? The sixth biggest. Biggest. Yeah, the yeah. sixth biggest place. So, you know, there's a lot of things going on around here, guys. And, you know, today we were blown away. Santiago was very graceful. Uh, he gave up his time. He's a very busy man. He's oh, yeah. he's also got some uh, other projects going on that you know that uh, we'll be looking into in the next couple of months. I know that Barry and me will definitely be coming back. I'm sure uh, Dueño. I mean, he's crazy to come back. He's only been here two days. <laughs> So, um, I don't know if El Duino wants to go again. I don't think he wants to go back to Rio somewhere. I, I we have to ask to Arduino. Arduino, I'm going to ask to yourself. Yeah, yeah he, I really <laughs> love I really yourself. want to come. Yeah, uh, he was saying he's got some another eco tour going on. It's in, the, it's in the stage of being built. It's going to be ready maybe in six to eight months. You know what really got me though is uh, we'll sit here and I'm going to pull off and get a picture, but I don't want to cut camera. I want 
what really amazed me was the tents and the camping now. Yeah. Okay, Ted, fill them in about that, guys, because that was just amazing. Yeah, we uh, we saw the, uh, he has places for people to stay. They're really like cute little uh, camping places, little tents right on the beach. And you've got options. They've got ones for four people. It's starting at $90 a night. Now, four people on the beach, ocean view, $90. It's got 24-hour security. They also include breakfast in that, you know. So that's working out just at $22.50 I mean, you're right on the person. ocean. You're right on the shore of the ocean. Exactly. And they've also got other ones smaller at 75 a night. And then there's other ones around 45 to 50 So they've got these package things here. And you can go out on the boats. You've also got, like, they can offer lunch and dinner as well and that. So if this... You know, this guy's really busy. He's got a lot he's of... He's got uh, a lot of good... Uh, he's got a good mind for this stuff. But but the thing is, though, um, uh, who wouldn't love to do something like that? They have a big, beautiful bar, you know, a Friday night. You have a few drinks, a few dances. You're sleeping right on the shoreline of the ocean. Exactly. I mean, peace, quiet, security, totally safe. Totally, totally safe. I mean, anyway, what more could you ask for? And uh, this is just a beautiful place. And uh, we're just going to take a picture of this uh, shipwreck out here. And then we'll be back on the road. we got to make some time. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so this is Johnny here. His name is Alduino. And, of course, old Barry. We'll be catching up with you later tonight, maybe over dinner together. Exactly. Bye. Bye. Bye.